Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how to create fancy transparent text. You see right here, uh, the name of it is cooltext.com, so that's what you would search for. And I've looked at four or five of, of these kind of programs, and it's done online, you don't have to download nothing. And it makes it a transparent image, and it's free. How about that? And I'm only going to just scratch the surface here, showing you. But I, I, I reckon this right here is the starting page. And you see all the all the stuff you can click on. Now, these that's blinking, they made for web pages. So they won't work if you want to put this on your video. They won't work on your video. I, don't, I, don't, I really don't know what it would do uh, if you put it on your video. But you can click any one of these fonts, and, and I'm going I'm to show you that, but I'm going to show you around a little bit, uh, just a second first. And uh, you can go down here and look at the categories, and uh, I'll, I'll click science fiction right here. And y'all, you can download you a, like, I guess a button or what, you know, whatever, you know. And type inside of it like uh, to mark your video because you can get your video stolen. Because I've had one of mine stolen as I know of. I I, I seen it on a commercial. And I'm going to go right here to logos. And uh, it seems like that you go to me in a circle a pretty good bit. But you want simple. Anyway, you you... You pick you one out, and I'm going to show you a real good one. And I meant to show you this right here. See where it says button? I'm going to go there. And these is the the buttons that, you know, you can put text in. And, you know, you can see the button on your video, but, but the rest of it will be transparent. And, uh, you know, you can make your sub subscribe button or whatever you want to do. This right here is pretty neat, y'all. Now I'm gonna, uh, I choose this little red button here, and see how good this looks. Um, now here's, I, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a way you can do it. Uh, they, they probably don't want you to know this, but I'm gonna show you the a way you can do it and the right way to do it. Okay, you can just color this right here. And right click and click uh, save image as see that right there PNG image that's what it has to be and uh and I'm gonna I'm gonna choose my desktop because I, I don't want to have to be hunting it everywhere and there it is right there hey that's pretty neat ain't it I'm gonna show you the right way too and I'm still looking here, y'all. But this right here is a uh, gold trim. And uh, that's a real good one. You know, I like the ones in cursive. But uh, there's something I'm looking here I'm going to try to show y'all. Okay, I finally found it. It's under fonts. Click on fonts. And see all these categories. And uh, I'll click fancy right here. I, I, I really don't hardly know one from another. But see all these different styles, and uh, I'll click freaky here, and and look at all look at all the uh the the fonts they got. I finally found it. See, uh, this is brand name fonts, and I never knew that each company had their own brand name. Look right here at Pepsi and Honda, and look at that Ford right there. I, I I didn't ever know that until I was looking at this. And I've been looking at this kind kind of trying to uh, to fool around and make sure like I knew what I was talking about. I've I've messed with it about twenty minutes for. Right, I'm gonna go right here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna type my name. Now you can type your whole name if you want to. I just do my first name because it it don't matter no how. Okay. This right here is where you can make it bigger. If you want to make it bigger, I don't, I don't know why you would want to make it bigger or smaller, but 
Uh, but anyway, this is it. I'll click on logo. You can you can change the colors and stuff like that. And uh, shadow. Uh, see, it's got a heavy blur, and that's what's around the letters. And you can change that to no shadow, and you know you you can mess with it, you know. And uh, and then see right here it says create logo. I'm gonna do that. And then there it is right there. Download. I want to make sure when you download something, make sure that like you save it to your desktop where you ain't hunting it everywhere. You know, if you ain't real experienced on the computer. Uh, okay. And see, so it's already on a PNG image. And I'm going to click save. And there that is. 